there is a great deal of change happening in the world. Go to McDonald's and there's a kiosk to self-order. Go to Walmart and check out groceries on your own. Cars are driving on their own and technology to do all this improves every day. The robots of the future are here today. This isn't a gimmick. These robots are real. The next 10 years will see more change than the last 50 years. And the rumor has it that the Boston Dynamics robots are going to replace the military. Boston Dynamics is an American engineering and robotics design company founded in 1992 as a spin-off from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Boston Dynamics have developed a series of dynamic, highly mobile robots, including Big Dog, Spot, Atlas, and Handle. Since 2019, Spot has been made commercially available robot from Boston Dynamics, while the company has stated its intent to commercialize other robots as well, including Handle. Semi-autonomous and remotely controlled weapon systems are established military tools, and several armed forces are experimenting with quadrupedal robots to carry equipment. But should we be concerned about efforts to arm dog-like robots with lethal weapons? Let's explore the current state of quadrupedal systems and their capabilities with Amped Up Tech. Service robots are deployed in various combat scenarios with the main objective of removing personnel from harm's way. Such capability can give both strategic and tactical advantages. Drones, uncrewed ground vehicles or UGVs, and even guided missiles are robots with weapons. But most people don't consider them as such. Put four legs on the machine and things will change drastically. We envision that robotics would one day become a defender's best friend and be deployed to undertake more risky and complex operations in tough terrains. This was said by Singapore-based Defence Science and Technology Agency DSTA, Deputy Chief of Land Systems Roy Chan in October. Philadelphia-based Ghost Robotics Quadrupedal Uncrewed Ground Vehicles, or Robot Dogs, have attracted considerable attention in recent years. Not least because the 325th Security Forces Squadron at Tyndall US Air Force Base began using them on regular security operations. The four semi-autonomous Vision 60 models the base operates each have 14 sensors, advanced multi-directional, thermal and infrared video capabilities, and can operate for three hours of continuous runtime on one charge. The robots carry out route checks and anomaly detection autonomously. Ghost Robotics Chief Executive Officer Jiran Parikh says, The robots can be deployed for persistent security applications and it can be put on a plane for combat operations. It can be used in a forward operating base or a mobile operating base. Explaining the company's concept, he says, We have a robot dog with a doghouse, with edge processing on the dog and in the doghouse. We can retrofit the dog with any type of payload for any type of combat operation. Ghost Robotics recently equipped its Vision 60 four-legged unit with Special Welfare Operations Research Development International's custom-made remotely operated gun. More than 20 national security customers currently used Ghost Robotics platform. But Parik says autonomous weapons are not where the main interest lies. Most of the company's customers deploy the Vision 60 for chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear and explosive detection, reconnaissance and mapping. It's primarily going to be a special force thing in the US, and we're talking years by the time they get officially approved. We're not going to see any kind of operability of a weapon on our leg robots today, but I think in years down the road, you will. He says the only difference between ghost robotics and any ground, surface or air uncrewed systems with the option of weapon integration is that the Vision 60 walks on legs. People will get used to it just like they got used to the General Atomics Reaper MQ Predator drones carrying out operations, Parik added. The special purpose unmanned rifle it is armed with has no autonomy nor integrated AI and is operated by a human in the loop. The concept was to create a walking quad route and remove soldiers from a close combat environment. Another US robot developer, Boston Dynamics, has a strict policy against weaponizing its machines, including its quadrupedal spot. However, if the shot is not fired from the back of the robot, but it helps locate adversary targets for engagement, the machine can be considered just as lethal as its weaponized counterpart. Spot participated in a two-day reconnaissance operation exercise with the French army last spring. Boston Dynamics Vice President Michael Perry 
said in an interview that removing people from harm's way is a justifiable use of the technology, but the company needs a better understanding of the military deployment of its systems. DSTA recognizes that changes in military procedures require soldiers to operate on a wide range of terrain and face unconventional threats. To equip its soldiers with the right tools, the agency developed its Command, Control and Communication System prototype. This concept will leverage uncrewed ground and air systems for surveillance in urban combat to increase soldier survivability rates. DSTA has partnered with Ghost Robotics to determine how quadrupedal robots could be used in defense settings. The partnership will see Ghost Robotics platforms paired with DSTA's C3 system. The C3 allows for simultaneous control and monitoring of multiple uncrewed systems in harsh environments. But there's no intention of weaponizing remotely controlled platforms. Most legged robots balance and navigate using AI-powered computer vision ad for sensors. The information processing speed of such proprioceptive methods can fail on slippery surfaces and other challenging environments. Parik says although the Vision 60 is equipped with sensors and vision capabilities, it only uses direct motor sensing when navigating difficult terrain. We have a very large motor and very little gearing. At a small scale, we can keep the actuators very transparent, he explains. We don't have to put a lot of gearing or drivetrain on the robots to lift heavy payloads. It's operating at 2 kHz, 2,000 instructions per second. That means anytime the Vision 60 slips, is pushed or leans on anything, its 12 motors sense and correct those at 2 kHz. This is similar to how most living species operate. Motor sensing allows the robot dog to balance itself on icy surfaces, walk in tall grass, high waters or climb debris hills. According to Global Data Forecasts, the robotics industry was worth $45 billion in 2020, and by 2030, it will have grown at a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 29% to $568 billion. Global Data expects every segment of the robotics market to grow over the next decade. Industrial robots will function as a growth driver as innovation in the segment will spill over to other areas. By now, everyone's seen the videos of Boston Dynamics robot dog Spot. It can walk, run, hop on two legs, and even dance. It's mighty impressive. But with every video released by the American robotics firm, it felt like we're edging closer to the ultimate goal of four-legged drones that could be equipped for battle and replace soldiers. A pretty terrifying idea. However, Boston Dynamics has come together with a coalition of other robotics experts to plead with companies across the sector to please never give the robots guns. The letter, which was first reported by Axios, has been signed by Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Anybotics, Unitree, Clearpath and Open Robotics. The move is a good one, if slightly surprising, as Boston Dynamics has previously carried out testing of its robots with the NYPD and the French military. But a report from The Verge points out that the bots weren't harmed in either instance. Instead, they were used for reconnaissance. The same is true for Clearpath Robotics, which previously used its robots in an unarmed test with the US Army. But despite these past ties to the military, the robotics firms say enough is enough. Now they've promised that they will not weaponize our advanced mobility general purpose robots. To do this, the six companies will review our customers' intended applications to try and avoid potential weaponization. The companies will also explore new technologies that could prevent their creations from being militarized. But the move almost certainly will not be enough to stop the impending onslaught of military robots. As The Verge reports that US firm Ghost Robotics is a notable omission from the letter, this company also creates four-legged robots that have previously focused on military and government sales. So. Not weaponizing the robots is a step in the right direction to see, arguably, one of the most famous robotics firm in America pledge to never give its creations guns. But it's certainly no guarantee that armed robots aren't on the horizon. And that's all folks for today. We hope you enjoyed the details we brought you about the future of robots and the military. If yes, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel Amped Up Tech. For more such informative videos, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Until then, peace out.